Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Madame Tobe is back on course, though she derailed a bit when she spoke about this um, uh, epic charity foundation. She derailed, we must confess. But it seems that she has abandoned that project, she's back on course. So, her main course now is to take down all those ground handlers that refuse to disburse and don't have any credibility. And the way it seems now that more than 90%, more than 99% of the ground in Nigeria are fake. That is what is becoming somehow eminent. So just listen to her. In these few days, she's going on a quest. You know, UAG uh, credibility and authenticity is about to be disclosed. Just listen to this. You know, and uh, other grants will follow suit. You know, listen to this. See on the other side. Drop a comment in the description. Good evening, Nigeria. Good evening to all CEOs, bond duets, and prospective beneficiaries of all the grants we have subscribed to in Nigeria. I am Temitope Eluyemi Balogun. I see it very important to come out again this evening to give you updates of what is appealing or what we have done so far i have seen many people sending messages to me that they thought we have been silenced or we are tired i want you to know that i can never be tired we are still moving and on daily basis we are working we just decided to not be giving updates as we normally do before so that we can be focused but this evening i want to talk briefly about what is going on and i want i want to admonish you if truly you are looking for the truth and you st you stand for the truth i want to admonish you let's work together and achieve this let's work work together and receive this victory by the grace of god on the UAAG of Apostle Dr. Ken Owakama, I don't need to go back to the explanation again. I don't need to be telling you what and what happened again. But right now, we are waiting for the reply from the CBN, from the Minister for Finance and the Secretary General of the Federation. And I think there is another one. We are waiting for the reply through CDHR. We are waiting eagerly for the reply. So that reply will determine our next action. And like I told you, it is very difficult for anyone to sweep this movement under the carpet again. It is very, very difficult. We have gone very far and we are confident because this Nigerian belongs to all of us. We have been hearing our government is bad, our government is bad. We want to use this one to let Nigeria know that it is not everything they told us that is right about our government. So therefore, let no one deceive you that we will not get the answer. Let no one deceive you because we are the one that have moved from one office to the other. And we know what we have had so far and what is happening right now. So be rest assured that we will get the answer. So let's wait. Let's pray UAAG uh, document is truly in the hand of the presidency. Let's pray that the government is helping them to keep the documents. If there is nothing like that, then you will know that we are not lying. Because as we speak, we, all the agencies in Nigeria, are already aware of our movement and uh, we don't want to do it the wrong way and we don't want to be in hurry that is why you see us that we are following the process and we know committee for the defense of human rights those of you that do not know what they have done in the past that is why you think they can be bribed or a bribe they can be bought over and you think i personally can be bought over probably someone might have come out before or you 
have been bought over before that's why you think it is possible no don't let them use that one to deceive you or to cajole you to another another realm of extortion because committee for the defense of human rights we are standing for the truth and they will surely do the justice on our behalf so that is about uaa gym i'm trying to make this thing very this voice note very uh, not lengthy because if i'm to be telling you bit by bit uh, you will uh, you will fight me again that i'm talking too much then uh, secondly we have um, we are now expecting as we know that we subscribe to uh, nearly hundreds of uh, of uh, grants in nigeria we subscribe to nearly hundred of grants though some people say it's 121 but those that we have been able to trace the genesis at least it's over 15 now so out of this we are moving from current to as we know i want to remind us i want to remind us of what they promise us like uh, the person in uh, item osim promised us that he is going to give us three hundred thousand naira per beneficiary we were meant to pay one thousand naira per head then i paid while i was away while i was not in nigeria i sent my money through the person that uh, was were registering it that time and um, my members paid too we paid in thousands of naira that is on the item osim so item osim is going to be invited very shortly to showcase his document so to showcase his document that uh, authenticate the 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 grant that he promised us there so we want the cdhr to help us ask him what happened on the way so even if there is problem they should be able to trace it through the document that item will say we uh, tender before them and we are also reminding you that very shortly mama supreme of a supreme family entertainment also will be invited i told you what she discussed with me when she called me on the 8th of july 2024 this month but that will not make me i've told her already that she should package her documents whatever needed to be done she should continue doing it if there is a grant for us but she made me to understand and i'm still laughing at our people because i don't really understand mama supreme told me that her grant that she was processing that time that she was promising us that we even did a thanksgiving at badagri that we did thanksgiving on the disbursement she said the grant crashed along the way that is what she told me on the 8th of this month and she now told me that the one she is uh, processing now is the is a struggle is the local one so those of us that heard about uh, what i said in my platform i am telling you what mama supreme told me and i'm not fighting her i've told her i've told her she told me also that she is not uh, giving any beneficiary money that this particular one is just for is just for um cluster f alone so i'm surprised that uh, what she told me is different from what is happening in the grant community again as they i was told now that they were they have invited the super coordinators and they are now uh, preparing for disbursement i don't know if the disbursement has now covered the beneficiary but i'm telling you of a truth what mama supreme told me which i have the proof with me to date and i want to also remind us that mama supreme promised us 300 000, 300 000 naira per beneficiary that is what she promised us well that the the grand crash along the road doesn't mean there will never be any document at least there are some documents before the grant crashed so we can still make use of the uh, document to be sure that she really meant well for us she she intended to give us the grant but something happened and it crashed so we we need her to showcase a document before the grant crashed as she said so we, we she she will be invited also 
And all this thing I'm talking is within this period, just very shortly, just very shortly, within now, and in the next second week of August, we must be getting ready to be done with at least 20 grand handlers. Then we are looking at, uh, we are inviting also uh, our, uh, another grand handler, though in his own way, he, he, he said he's going to, I, I'm talking of a, I'm talking of a power of five. I'm talking of power of five uh, CEO. He promised us 500 million per CEO that we are going to use 300 million Naira for for wider community project. That, that then the remaining 200 million, he said we should we will use it for for our own business. I think later she he even promised again that he's going to give us two 200 thousand per beneficiary. So. We we are inviting a uh, power of five CEO to also showcase the document of the grant the, of the opportunity that she promised us this January that uh, the donor is even around. So we want him to give us the proof, tender the proof of all these documents. We know that she you can remember she made some uh, they made some videos concerning the document of power of five uh, of his grant so we are inviting power of five also to showcase our uh, documents we can't uh, him also to be grant handler we yes she is he is also a grant handler because he came out and promised all ceos that registered that paid ten thousand naira for his uh, pro uh, t-shirt program that he will give us 500 million naira we are we use a uh, 300 million for project so we are inviting also a uh, ceo of power of five then we are inviting a uh, epic charity foundation we are inviting epic charity foundation he also will come with his document let the committee for the defense of human rights let them have interaction with him let him explain everything we saw in that document let him confirm the document to be his own and let him explain all the acknowledgement we saw in that document let him confirm it to the committee for the defense of human rights so we 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 are inviting the ceo of epic charity foundation too all these people i'm mentioning are within this week and next week by the special grace of god they may change the date because we don't want to rush them neither we want to put them under duress like i told you i am not fighting them all i needed from them is the proof that truly they are processing grant or may the grant is already in nigeria there are, there must be something to show that truly they they have grants so we are inviting epic charity foundation too then we are inviting reference eloma Elo mama of a uh, tepicon we are inviting him shortly too because we remember that uh sometimes ago they said the te telescopy is in nigeria at least even if every document is lost they will still lay hand on some of the document especially the telescopy so reverend lomama of uh, tepicon shall be invited shortly to to come and explain in details what happened why till today the people that subscribe to Tepicon Grant are yet to receive it. Now, this empowerment is very, very important for us. And we are personally, personally, I pay a huge amount of money in millions. And my members showcase millions of Naira's foodstuffs and goods uh, and goods and services, which the 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 to he investment limited uh the representative that is a uh, chief Ali Aji and Ide Agidi always taking away with their boss whenever they are going. We did it in several states, even at the Abuja federal capital. I we did the empowerment there. What he promised us is uh, that he's going to give us Lexus 350, uh, Toyota Camry, 
Toyota Corolla, then 10 million naira, 5 million naira. He promised us a truck for our agricultural projects. He promised us a urge, which we subscribe to. We submitted our international passport. Like my group, I submitted over 20. And uh, that is uh, two years ago. That's, that's last year. Last, the last year, not this year. Oh, last year, we submitted over 20 international passports. And lo and behold, we gathered at International uh, Airport in Lagos. A day that the Mecca uh, embassy we closed. And up to today, we were not compensated for, for the failed Hajj program. It took us backward in everything because we were hugely indebted. So also, uh, Ali Aji, Ali Nide Agidi promised us uh, Jerusalem. He promised us a lot of things. He promised widow and many of us three, three bedroom flats that they, they will build it for us in uh, all the 36 states of the country and the federal capital also. So we want to invite him. We want to, we, we need the proof of those empowerment program that we did. We are most of our kings and uh, traditional rulers were seated when he was uh, uh, promising us all this, which made it very difficult for us to even visit those uh, kings and uh, traditional rulers again. So we, we want to invite uh, our, uh, the allergy. <laughs> because people said I should not call them my daddy, my daddy again. Anyway, it is it is okay. I still see all of them as my daddy, my mommy, until we re we received the the final findings that they scammed us. So we are inviting Ali Aji and Agidi of Tui Investment Empowerment. He will need to come and explain to the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights what happened. He will need to showcase his document, and uh, I want to inform us also that Mama Supreme. Some some people called me that Mama Supreme promised them uh, housing that time too. That he even sold, she even sold them some houses here in Abuja, which she said it was not true. She said it was not true. So if you are part of the people that Mama Supreme promised houses then, and she sold you the houses, and you enter the houses, you even uh, give glory to God there. You cry there, praising God, and eventually you discover it was not true. I am, as you have sent the message to me sometimes ago, I still want you to repeat your message on that our WhatsApp number, so that at least... She will have to explain. Maybe you are the one telling lie, or she is the one. And I will be happy if you can still remember the place where she took you to. Uh, that is on. I re just remember that. So on the issue of Ali uh, Aji Ayinde Agidi, Chief Ali Chief Professor Ayinde Agidi, please let every one of you that uh, did the empowerment put sentiment apart. Put fear aside. I want you to know that the no, but no weapon formed against me can prosper again. The spiritual war is was tensed, and God is seeing me through. So, every one of you that that subscribe to this empowerment, and you knew you you organize your members sometimes they go different places while jubilating. People were jubilating. He promised the sick that he will, he, he will give them support. He will send them abroad for treatment. Alaji promised our, our students a uh, scholarship both home and abroad. She promised a lot of people. I have the document of, of those people she he promised to go and study in Canada, USA, and so on and so forth like that. And till today, we have not seen a single team coming to reality from what he promised us. This is not today, this is not last year. It's over three to four years that we have done this program. So if you still think that everything is all right, to me, the Mitopelu Yemi Balogu, it is not all right. And so therefore, we are inviting him. Let him come and explain to the public what happened to the program. Let him come and explain. Let him showcase his documents too. And this is all we are requesting from them. Now, after the showcasing of their documents, 
all this grand handler what will be the outcome of our movement the next stage is what we are doing on uh, on on uaag now you know uaag have prom uh, they came they said their own document is in a uh, presidency and a uh, president and so the committee for the defense of human rights have taken it upon themselves according to what the representative told them to investigate so they have written the, the places that matters in Nigeria, they are freaking them to, re, to request for that document. And if there is document truly, what we need now to know about UAG, why is the delay? What is happening? How much are we expecting truly? And what is the cost of this delay today, tomorrow? So if we are able to get that, then we move to the next stage. If it is our government that is not ready to, to give us this grant, then we will now go back to them and we will appeal to them. If they didn't get, if they didn't accept our appeal, then we will now call for a uh, protest. That is on that. But if it is not true, if there is nothing like UAAG, we are going to compel them to be arrested. They must be arrested. And we will now uh, demand for justice. They will, because if we are to be calculating our money that we have spent, they, there is no way we can calculate it accurately. But the one we pay to them in billions, they will be compelled to pay us back with interest then they will still be prosecuted and whatever the government see that is right for them as in the final judgment we will be we will be glad they give it to them and this same thing will happen to all other grant handlers anyone that is have, that is true among them anyone that have something to show that truly he or she is having grants which they promise us that exact one they promise us is what we are fighting for because many people have been calling us that hey, this is not uh, this is what they plan this is what happened we are not interested in what happened later we are, because if they really have us in mind they would have called us and explained to us before we came out for this movement so we we not stop by them coming to CDHR and they now talk, 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 talk. They showcase any kind of document and they go, no, anything they drop there, we are going to follow it up. We are going to follow it up. And let me, rem let me inform you, if they want to go to National Assembly or Senate, they will meet us there because we already want, the, we already, we, the remaining one now is for us to be letting the, the world know what is happening. That's the only one that remains. So within Nigeria, we have covered that area. And what we need is the truth. If there is no grant from any one of them, then the judgment must take, the justice must be taken. We must receive justice because many of our members are no more. Many are now in the hospital. Many are even living dead right now as we speak so that is exactly what we are doing that's why we don't want to rush that's why we don't want to put the law in our hand so anyone that is thinking that we must be in hurry no we will not be in hurry we really want the 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 law to take its course and god is going to fight for us till the end in jesus name inshallah we are going to receive a uh, judgment we are going to receive we are going victory is sure then I also want to inform you, I am not surprising many of our CEO still contributing money. I will not say what they are doing is wrong. I will not say that because my organization is different from their organization. I am the one that came out that said I am tired and truly I'm totally tired. If I subscribed and they said because I didn't pay money and the disbord they didn't want to give me, uh, let's wait and see what will be the end of it anyway. But that is not where I'm going. Some of our CEO, you believe that you can hide, you can call and pray for me, and you don't want people to know. I understood you perfectly because we are not the same. What I am doing now, many people cannot do it. You are afraid you don't want to die. You are afraid because of your family. You are afraid you don't want them to remove your organization. But I want you to know that if you didn't come out now, and be part of this struggle if one of these uh, grand handler if we discover that they are fake what will be your own stand before your own bundle head and, on, and your beneficiaries my beneficiary my bundle head they had meeting in my organization and they asked me to stop because they don't want me to fight again they want they have dashed the money they don't they are not interested i told them no 
that even though they will not request for the money again, that personally me, I cannot stop because many people believe in this struggle and nothing bad will happen to me by the grace of God. So you, the CEO, that you normally come out to, to, to fight me, I am calling you now to come. Let's work together in unity and stop this grant. There is this grant community that people, the Nigerian government did not even know it's existing. This particular grant community that we have been spending billions of naira within ourselves, just paying to few people, they didn't know it's a 16. That is the truth I want you to know. They did not know it is a 16. When this grant and land are visiting government places, they are not going there in the name of grant community. They are going there just like me as the CEO of my organization. Some are going there to submit their letter to open and um, to register with humanitarian services.